Hello, hello, this is Ryu Kazu Ioka, and I am bringing you guys in Good about Operation 2. So, I'm bringing out the GM Striker. Woo! Okay, so yeah, I'm bringing out the GM Striker in a 400 cost room, so there's that. And I'm already jealous with a lot of people, of course. Most of them are paid players, definitely paid players, or have god given luck. Because some of them have the Gundam, some of them have the Gelgug, though I already have the Gelgug Commander, but some of them do have the Gundam G3, which they just added. Though you don't see actually a recording, I don't, you don't see here a Gundam G3, but, you know, those people who can actually spend like about a ton of money to get gotcha and here, as you can see here, my character is wearing something different this. I finally decided to buy a new outfit for my character because, you know, this is for ground battles. Now, technically, so it doesn't look generic. Though, you do, it's very generic, but the thing is this. You can actually customize your character the way you want it to. And I'm actually, and you know what, yeah. You get to customize your character whenever they were, so there's actually three options. A clear, sorry for that. So you get to customize your character for what they were first. Oh shit, look at that. He just one shot from the beam rifle and it just eliminated most of my legs. So yeah, so in Gun so in Gun of Operation you can actually customize Though I'm pretty sure you can customize the paint of your mobile suit if you actually level up a little bit higher. Though I'm already third, third level 30 I think. But I still have we still haven't gotten to the point where we get to actually paint our mobile suits. There's a GM striker and I wanna kill that. Anyways. Ooh, thanks for the stagger, I needed that. Sorry. You're dead. I'm gonna die. And there's a threat for the mobile suit. I'm gonna die. But you're not here. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. I need it. The end is inevitable. So, about customization of the character. Your pilot. Well, you do get in the past. You don't get actually you do, in in Gun of Operation One. The only thing you get to customize was the suit of your pilot. Now you get to actually customize your character. Damn it! They already used the airstrike. So now you get to actually customize what your character would wear outside the game. Well, technically in the lobby. And it, during battles, during battles, there's only two. You have the standard one, and the, well, one thing is that you now get to customize what your character. Well, yeah, I keep saying that you get to customize what your character is wearing. The thing is, this one of them, you get to customize what you bring for ground battles, and then you get to customize what you bring for space battles. And I'm and I really want to get this thing into a spike. I mean, Rocky Line Sniper. And they want to kill me, but I do want to get this Rocky Line Sniper. I'm gonna try my best to kill. Oh, I'm actually this one. What the hell? And, ooh, interesting. Wait, did he just went down? Okay. Now that what you see saw there was a Gundam Jack, as in, as in somebody just decided to hijack the Gundam. <laughs> no, it's not the GPO2. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see the GPO1 and GPO2 in the game, but I'm pretty sure just like Gundam Operation 1, the GPO1 will, the GPO2 won't have the nuclear maneuver guys. That would kill everyone. <laughs> I know. Okay, so yeah, 
was my second death and I really because you know being the melee type you're actually prone to dying because most of which would use a general purpose melee type and we have your gun tank oh I actually already got the gun cannon though I actually got it to getting using my points I really do want to get a new mobile suit and I guess the gun cannon is okay but I think we're gonna have to try and spike, not really spice things up but really upgrade my level not really upgrade my level but you know just make sure that I could actually fight other mobile suits here which you know and I'm just not going to get too much well one thing I really want to do is that if I'm gonna fight the I'm gonna actually try to do some damage and get higher level mobile suits up to the service right now. And that's just how you use the GM's striker. You can actually do like four hit, a four hit combo with the GM striker. And as you can see there, I can actually do basically a pseudo four hit combo with the GM striker. I'm not sure if there's a pilot here, but I'm pretty sure he's up. And I missed that. And I got tackled. Time for me to tackle back. Ooh, I killed both the pilot and the mobile suit. Yo, it's still suffering from the same. Glitch, I guess. Okay, so you can't... And that's all. Huh? So the GM Striker actually has some kind of double pump action like Fortnite. But in a way... And it's dead. So the double pump strategy of the GM striker is you use the GM striker and try to hit it with the, the beam spear thing then you quickly switch to the beam saber okay that's our ally bomb okay there's next no one there so that's definitely a dead thing not sure okay I'm wondering how the hell did oh no okay you know what I'm gonna this one but Okay, how did that gun can get in there? And I know I'm back from that. And I get hit again with like airstrike. And it misses. Guys, you can even kill the gun tank. And there's now another mobile suit in the air. Okay, then I can't back up much back and I can't go past the tank. I'm gonna be on a key, don't have another tank again. Oh my god. Oh, thank goodness, time out. Oh, that was intense. So there you guys have it, my recording with the GM Striker. Woo, high score. That's amazing. Wow, so the gun tank was actually my rival. I didn't know how to reach that SOB, but whatever. Woo, so got high score. Look at that, the gun. The GM Striker takes names and kicks ass and all that jazz and shit. Okay, so whatever the case, this is Ryukaze Ioka, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Good day, good day, good day. <laughs>